You've given me lots of great ideas for how I can illustrate the numbers around the clock and various people suggested caterpillars and snakes. I've been doing some little sketches here, but I've decided I'm gonna do a snake. A caterpillar gets a bit complicated. I want to keep it simple. <laughs> Let's do it. Well, so far you've seen the video where uh, I start with the mannequin holding up the number one and Diamond Heaven suggested how about a caterpillar for number two? And I tried that and I tried that. And then Selena Rosales said, uh, you know, maybe a snake uh, wrapped around the number two or flowers with vines. And then George Owen said, you should draw a snake in the shape of a two. And that's what I'm going to do. So we need to start off with um, kind of the outline of a, a number two. And that will curl around here and that really wants to come level there and and then I'm going to make this kind of get a bit thinner here so let's let's bring that it needs to be kind of equidistant and kind of correctly thinner if that is a way of saying it I'm not quite sure I'm going to put a nice eye in there I'm going to make it slightly more pointy and a little face and a forked tongue now snakes are really quite smooth. I think there was a problem I had with the caterpillar was it uh, just got a bit too lumpy um, and it kind of got in the way of the shape of the number. So now I'm bringing this down here and I think I'm going to flick that up a bit at the end in fact. And on the inside, you know, the snake has that kind of ribbed um, sort of tummy that slides across the floor. So I'm going to make that a bit kind of rib like that and then I'll bring the tail up there that's looking okay and the eyeball is kind of like a moon shape or a pac-man kind of shape and he's going to want to have a tongue and I'll do that like that and I'm going to need some pattern I'm going to do a simple very very simple I'm going to put uh, spots on the back and these are just semicircles, and I'm going to put kind of full circles in between them there, and that kind of gives that actually kind of helps to give it a a feeling of curvature uh, or of cylindricality, if there's such a word. <laughs> when you are sure that the ink is dry, you can erase those pencil lines. I'm going to just fill in all these circles and just do them in black. And now I'm going to do this at twisting around, so. These are kind of going to be the scales of the snake and I'm wanting to do nice curves um, as I curve around the shape of the snake. And you'll find your hand kind of moves naturally in a curve in one way so you know don't force it to do it another way um, move the paper around. Now here it's going to have to so slightly differently. I have to think about this. Now we have to kind of curve it around the other way. It gets a bit complicated. And then to get the feeling of the scales, then we're going to cross hatch that with curves going in the other direction. This is where it gets a bit complicated. And now I'm going to have to go around the other way. That's it. Yeah. That's looking good. I think we're going to need a little bit of. I'm going to put a little bit of kind of shading in just slightly offset to help give it a bit of um, you know kind of roundness like that and in fact I'm going to do it the other way there so that the curve looks a little bit different on those little marks and I think this is a bit unsubtle here so I'm just going to make that kind of fade in there a bit more I'm going to add a little bit around there maybe a bit more to the eyes to bring that out a bit and I think finally I'm going to need a little bit of shadow just like that and there is my number two well I'm still looking for ideas for number three could it be you could you have a great idea put them in the comments box down below and I'll see you next time well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you're wondering what this is all about, go and have a look at my first video, how to help me design a clock face. And that will explain it all to you. Or go and have a look at the mystery drawing. 
Click that logo now to subscribe for lots more drawing videos on YouTube and come and have a look and see what we're doing on my Patreon page. I'm building a whole art school on there. If you're serious about drawing, you want to get serious about learning. <laughs> In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.